Anthony and coming up later today. As we mentioned, it's been 17 years since the September 11th attacks and even though fewer and fewer students were old enough to remember the tragedy, some schools are finding ways to keep the memory alive. West High School is holding its third memorial bleacher climb in honor of the firefighters that lost their lives that day. Local 5's John Dommel is live at West High School. John, good morning. All right, good morning, Nate. Good morning, Brittany. That's right, a third annual bleacher climb. That means students and firefighters from our area, West High School, are going to be going up and down these racks of bleachers here uh, 11 times, which amounts to only, what is it? We've got, got the statistic makers right here. So we got Autumn Dickey. She's with the PE department with West High School. And then, you know, we got a special guest right here as well. What was your name, sir? I apologize. Sergeant Figlinski. Okay, and you're with the National Guard. Yes, I am. And, uh, you know, the National Guard has a little bit of a presence here today. Uh, it's, would either of you mind talking about what's going on today? Today we're doing our third annual bleacher climb at West High School. It is our annual Fuel Up to Play 60 kickoff event. Um, it also just is to rem have the students remember uh, what happened 17 years ago on September 11th in New York, how 343 firefighters lost their lives. So our students do um, uh, one-tenth of the steps, which is 11 times up and around. We will have the firefighters from Station 3 here today, the National Guard, and Dean's has graciously donated 500 cartons of chocolate milk. And, uh, you know, the fire department, when they get here, they may bring some fire gear themselves, and that's to show a deeper appreciation. I mean, what, what's the importance of keeping the memory of that day alive for people that may have not even been around or, you know, the, to remember it themselves? Yeah, um, the firefighters are going to bring equipment, gear. The students can hook up with that, see what it feels like, the weight, how it is just to run a couple times on the bleachers where the firefighters were doing that in extreme heat and heaviness. And yeah, some of our students have, aren't, weren't even born back 17 years ago. To, so just kind of keep alive the memory of what happened on that day. Hey, thank you guys so much for uh, being on the show. I sincerely do appreciate it. And thank you for your service, sir. And, uh, you know, we'll be back in the next segment with a little bit more to talk about here. And, uh, you know, who's going to be with us next segment? A few um, students. Students from Field to Play 60 students. So that'll be interesting. All right, back to you guys. Thanks so much, John. Meanwhile, firefighters and first responders in Greenville will be holding a public observance to honor the victims of the 9-11 attacks. The observance will take place at the September 11th Memorial on Parkview Drive. The fire chief will speak to those in attendance, followed by a moment of silence and a bell ceremony. That begins at 6 tonight. A brief memorial service will also take place at the Howard Fire Station at 8.46 a.m., which was the time when the first plane hit the World Trade Center. Firefighter and Iraq War veteran Trevor Anderson and his group will run from the 9-11 Memorial in Howard to the Memorial in downtown Green Bay and back. The memorial service will take place at 8.30 this morning. And students at Green Bay East High School will be holding a teddy bear and book donation drive tonight at their volleyball game against Southwest High School. The items donated will go to Green Bay Police and Fire Departments along with the Golden House, which is a healing center for domestic abuse victims. Students and families will arrive at East High School with their donations at 5.30. The game begins at 7.